You know, I see too many kids get so discouraged because they're expecting to make this quantum leap. And when that quantum leap doesn't come, it feels like it'll never come, right? But that's not how it works. You, it, it's step by step. One foot in front of the other, day by day, get better every single day. And then when you look back, then you look down and you realize the mountain that you just scaled, right? But you can't jump from the bottom of Everest and get to the top of Everest like that. It doesn't happen. You know, Superman is only in comics. <laughs> and so those things are going to be some of the also things we're going to do, be talking about as far as what do we need to be focusing on where our eyes are, our body is, our posture. Because right now, as you can see with Isaiah, his body posture is all now shifting downward. And so in a game of basketball, it takes a little bit of motivation more now to get into into his shot. So prior to coming on the court, we will incorporate concentration and, and also having like little self-talks to ourselves like, you know, I got this shot. I can make this shot. Um, every shot's going to go in, even if it doesn't, because we want to now tell our minds with our words that what we're practicing on is something that's going to help our shot. Because these things are things that athletes do professionally in the game in order to keep themselves focused. So we want to now talk about incorporating what called the grind. How did you become one of those people who doesn't seem to be afraid of failing? It doesn't exist. It's not existent. What the hell does that mean? Seriously, what does failure mean? It's not, it doesn't, it, it doesn't exist. It's a figment of your imagination. The point is, the story continues. The story continues. So if you fail on Monday, the only way it's a failure on Monday is if you decide to not progress from that, right? So that, so to me, that's why failure is not existent. Because, you know, if I fail today, I, okay, I'm going to learn something from that failure and I'm going to try again on Tuesday. And I fail and I'm going to try again on Wednesday. So. For example, when he's training, Kobe Bryant does a lot of self-talk. He talks to himself along the court. He tells him, you're great, you're the greatest, you're the best. But we don't see that. But in his head, he's doing that to himself a lot because he wants to keep himself motivated. Even if he misses a shot, we want... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.